This lesson is on modeling polynomials. For this section, you're going to need to know two terms. One is monomial or monomials. And referring to our stems, mono is one. And the other term we'll be using is polynomials. And from the stems list, you should know that means many. So what is a monomial? It's just going to be a number, a variable, or a product of a number, and one or more variables. So here are three separate examples of a monomial. The number 1, the variable x, and the variable x squared. Those are all monomials. You just have to remember for a monomial there's only one number or variable. Now, I could have this 3x squared. That would still be considered a monomial, not a polynomial. For a polynomial, you're looking at a sum or a difference of two or more monomials. So we're going to have more than one monomial present. And here's two examples of polynomials. x squared plus 1, so x squared would be a monomial. 1 would be a monomial. And because they're together, it's going to be a polynomial. And then uh, same thing over here. Negative x squared would be a monomial. 4x would be a monomial. Uh, negative 5 would be a monomial. Uh, but combined, it's going to be a polynomial. So at the beginning of this video, I said this is going to be about modeling polynomials. And these are the shapes that you're going to be using for this lesson. x squared, um, they're using a blue square negative x squared, they're using a red square, and then we have x, x's down here, those are just um, rectangles, not to be confused with the squares, and negative x's, red rectangles, and finally our numbers are just going to be little squares, um, ones, uh, negative ones. So when I combine the monomials on the left side here, I get x squared plus 3x. I have three of these x's plus 4. And then on the right side, I have, technically, I would have negative x, whoops, I forgot the square there, negative x squared plus negative 4x, because these are all negative, plus negative 2. Now this could be simplified, and I would expect you to do this um, on, in your work to negative x squared minus 4x minus 2. Looking at one more example, I have x squared and x squared and then a couple negative ones here. Since I have 2x squared, that's what my uh, monomial representation of that should be, 2x squared, and then I have three negative numbers, or negative ones, so that's going to be a plus negative three. But I would simplify this down to 2x squared minus three. So uh, just things to remember. This represents a monomial. This represents a monomial, monomial. Once I put them together, they become a polynomial. And that's about it for this lesson. Enjoy!